All right, hello. What do we have here? We have here a cube in Blender. I would like to have this cube. I will make this in a little. What shall we make? We will make a table. I would like to have this table in Substance Painter and then put this object and the textures, materials into Unreal Engine. Usually there is one big problem in the UV wrapping. I will show you what I mean. I will make this uh, very quick in something familiar. Let me see. Mm, I'll make this little table. That's very beautiful. But to show you what usually happens when you put this in, in your engine. Usually the wrap goes wrong. All right, we've got this little ugly table here. I will put this the um, in Substance Paint in a normal way and show you what happens. Uh, I will select all and then Ctrl J and it's one. And, and there's something strange here with. Uh, let me see. Easy fix. Sometimes that happens, very weird. We calculate objects. All right. I will unwrap it. Mm -hmm. You bring a wrap, smart. Here's the wrap. I can show you how it looks like. How it looks like with the UV grid table yeah, image texture UV grid you see now you can see already a little problem I will show you it comes clear when you look at it in substance painter all right I put this on the desktop export mm, desktop Table. All right. Uh, open. No. Ah. New. Select. Table. Uh, here's the table. Get this smart. More smart. I can make it easy for myself. They walked okay. like this. You see what happens here. That's because it's UV is not wrapped normal way. So you cannot paint this easily. You need to if if you're going to paint it with uh, let's say some 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 dirt on it. Let me see. It becomes even clearer. More clear. Mm -hmm. See, oh man, that looks a little bit. All right, I will show you to you a, a little trick in Blender to tackle this. I will do it like this. All right, save. Go back. To my table. So what's the the plan? If I snap my cursor to center, I will create a cube, a little one in the center. First, I select my table. Then, with Shift right mouse button, the cube. Ctrl J. Now it's one. If you unwrap it the same way, you will see what happens with this. Okay, but now it's this cube in here. Right button. Uh, no. L. Delete vertices. 
Okay, now it's gone. If you export this one now and we import it, I will show you what happens. Et voila! You see the big difference? And now it's easy and the perfect way to export this into a re engine. So I will do that. I will do some. What should I do? Alright, that's finished. Export. Am I blind? In the engine, fact. Right, this is all right for now. Export. Open folder. You see this three textures. All right. Go in here. Import first. My table inputs right, put it in here. This is all easy stuff, but there comes one little step which is pretty important because when you import these new textures, first you have to change to uncheck in occlusion map. This sRGB. If not, it becomes very glossy. All right. Right, my right button. Create material. Open. Drag these two in. Very easy stuff, of course. The normal map. And this one it took me. Took me a while to figure out what's happening here because, but now you can see this title is table table occlusion roughness metallic. So if you take this one channel occlusion roughness and metallic, all right, save and I drag this the table. Et voila, perfect table in like five minutes well thanks for watching bye bye guys